hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm back with another brand new google cloud youtube video today we'll be talking about google artifact registry if you are using google cloud container registry you already know that that service is already deprecated in favor of artifact registry and google artifact registry seems like the next generation of container registry so what it means is basically it has support for a lot of different artifacts like go modules npm p packages helm chart and whatnot with google container registry we were able to push docker images helm chart but with artifact registry they added a lot more feature so in this video i prepared a demo for you i'm going to show you how to create a repository and after that, how to build and push images to container registry, how to enable the scanning feature. And after that, we're going to see how to read the vulnerability. Search artifact registry. So this is like a global search. So if you're searching for some product, you can just type in here and we are looking for artifact registry. I'm going to click on this, right? So I've got two images already here. We are not going to talk about it. So once you go here, you would see create repository. Once you create, actually, let's say if I want to edit something, I would just click on that particular one and hit edit repository or you could delete and do much more but for now let's get started from the scratch before i jump in here you can see a pop-up it says that if you actually do the image scanning it's gonna cost you 0 0.26 per image meaning that once you push an image it's going to scan the image automatically for you particularly to detect any vulnerability right in your images so this is a very good feature if you don't want this service you could actually use services like Trivi. there are a lot more on the market like open source projects to scan images but anyway let's just stick to this one so just click on settings and from here you can turn on or you can turn off so for now i'm going to actually turn on this feature and of course it's gonna cost you a little bit more and if you don't want this you can just uh, turn it off right cool and click on repositories and let's create a brand new test i'm gonna type in test repo okay and if you look at here it has support as of now you can see it offers uh, support for different artifacts like npm python apt yam go modules even you could also push your helm chart here as well in our video we're gonna look into docker so therefore i'm gonna choose docker if you are actually let's say push any maven artifacts you could actually choose maven but for now let's just stick to docker then you have got the next option choose from the mood is basically the standard these two services are right now in preview therefore i'm not going to talk about it and then this is very interesting so if you want your artifact to be stored in a particular region then you can choose this one particular artifact to be stored in multiple regions which you could actually do so for example you want something to be stored in london and the same artifact you also want to store in frankfurt which is what is uh, basically done by this one and for us we're gonna go for a, a single region so here i can say europe so i'm gonna go to finland my location a dummy uh, docker image and labels let's say name equal um this is for youtube use your own encryption key or you could actually tell google hey you actually manage my encryption key i let google handle it and this is a default selection as you can see and i therefore want to upload my responsibilities especially operational responsibilities therefore i want google this particular option to be selected all right so i'm gonna hit create button this is gonna take a couple of seconds to create the repository and after that we are ready actually to push our images to google artifacts so here is our repository created just click in there and let's see what we have we do not have anything because this is just uh, an empty repository so let's go ahead and uh, build an image locally and push that particular image to this repository
I have a project, a personal project, and at the root of my project, I have Docker file. To build the Docker image, we need to make sure that Docker is up and running on the system. In my system, I have got Docker up and running, so therefore I'm ready to run the Docker commands, right? So Docker, and then we are going to build and build the Docker file. So now let's go ahead and uh, build the image. So because I have built the image beforehand on my system, therefore it is already in the cache, right? So that's why you see the image is actually built literally in less than one second. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say docker tag and this is the, the image ID and right here you can see the location. Basically this is the region of the artifact right so basically this so i said in here as you can see this is where i got the location so this is the test repo if you don't know how to actually get it there are other ways so you can actually run this particular command like right here in the cli or you can just go back and write artifact registry locations gcloud or gcloud artifact registry locations whichever works for you and if you just type in here you would get the locations if you go all the way down you see the option europe and i was actually using this europe north one which means that my location actually in finland so this region i'm talking about right cool so now you know how to get the locations either you can use the zcloud command or you can just google it and uh, get the location of it after that you need to use the project right so here if you go all the way up you would get the project id so here you're gonna use the project id and after that the name of your repository so the name of our repository was called test repo and then you're gonna give a name of your image okay so I'm gonna call it dummy image so enter <clears throat> once you enter it doesn't throw any error it means everything went good after that you're gonna run docker push command and as I said before you actually push any artifacts make sure that you are authenticated to zcloud otherwise you would not be able to push an image so if I just run this command I should be able is because I have authenticated already I'm going to show you just in a second how to authenticate to zcloud actually I could do it right here so let me open up a new terminal and right here I'm gonna say gcloud gcloud is installed on my system and you can say auth you can say configure docker and where you actually want to authenticate is basically this is the location right so I'm gonna say Europe and north one docker pkg dev so if you authenticate this is how actually you authenticate so I have done the authentication all right so then you push the image so our image actually was pushed successfully as you can see the artifact is right here but then we have got a couple of issues we have got 68 vulnerabilities is because of this because we have turned on this feature and once this image is actually pushed it will automatically do the scanning to detect any vulnerability on your image okay so if you click in here you're gonna see five critical issues seven high five medium and 50 is basically low and here also it gives you the number cb number as well so let's say uh, I, uh, I'm using a couple of packages and possibly the packages are not up to date. Possibly I'm using the old version of those packages which is basically the main reason for it. If you click, you're going to get further information about that particular, you can see this is the uh, CB2022, right? And here you're going to see the issue. What was the issue basically? So it says that these are the vulnerable versions and if you actually upgrade to this version then this issue these issues are actually mitigated right so this is how you can actually uh, make secure docker images excellent so here 
I also wanted to show you how to do the authentication you see this is what you could actually copy and paste to authenticate and if you want to pull your image you, you can just say docker or if you want to go for a particular digest because your image will have a SHA-256 hash so which is what also you can use like pull by the digest or pull by the tag that's it for today I pretty much uh, showed you how to build and push a docker image how to basically get the information about the vulnerability of your docker images so if you click right here you're gonna get more information It's gonna tell you which version is actually impacted and which version actually has the fix right so if you find this video useful give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next one more videos are coming and stay tuned thank you very much bye bye